In Scratch, we're going to program uh, how to throw a projectile. So this code right here goes with the cat sprite. And I have W, A, S, and D programmed to move the cat uh, around the stage. And I also have it programmed so when I hit the space bar, the cat will throw a baseball in whatever direction the cat was just moving. So let's take a look at this code. Here it is. And I started with um, an event block, same as, as the other code, when the green flag is clicked. And the first thing is to have the baseball hide, because you don't want the baseball to appear. Now, the whole thing is built inside a forever loop, because we, we want this to happen whenever the program is running. And then we have an if then conditional statement. And what what uh, triggers this conditional statement is the space key. You could switch that to any key or change it. And then inside of that, we have this code. So let me put that in there and then we'll talk about this. Uh, the first the first thing is we want the baseball to go to sprite one. And you can choose different places. You could have it go to a random position or the mouse pointer. But to make it seem like the cat is throwing it, you need it to go to sprite one. That's, that's really the first block. Now remember, it's still hidden. The next thing is we want it to point in a direction. And this is where it gets a little tricky. Uh, over here in the motion, there is a block. Where, where is it? Uh, here you go. Point in direction. And you can set this to any direction, but we want this to point in whatever direction the cat's facing so that it appears the cat threw the ball. So we have to get another block out of sensing, and it's this one right here. Um, this one has a lot of options, and it's automatically set to the stage. But if you set it to another sprite, well, hang on, let me go back. If it's set to the stage, it just has these options. But if you set it to another sprite, it then has a whole bunch of options. Uh, you could use the X position of a sprite, a Y position, direction, costume number, all kinds of stuff. We set it to the direction of sprite one, and because of its shape, it will fit into that box. So what we've done is if you press the space key, the baseball goes to sprite one, and it will point in the direction of sprite one. And at that point, we want the baseball to show up. Then we want the baseball to, to move. But we also want it to disappear um, or do something when it hits the edge. So we use this block, uh, repeat until touching. So we're going to have it move 10 steps until it touches something. And what we chose was the edge. You could choose other things, uh, but the condition here is it'll move 10 steps until it touches the edge. And then after that, right after that one we want it to hide so if i run this code again and uh, back the cat up you can see it'll throw the ball until it hits the edge no matter which way and whatever is the last direction the cat was facing is the direction it'll throw now if the baseball seems like the wrong size there's two things you can do you can go over here and you can change the size right in here right it's set to 100 or 100 percent or you can go to the looks and you could put a block in right there. So you could set the size to 50%. And let's, let's see what that looks like. Rerun the program. There you go. That, now it's about the right size for the cat. So there you have it. You have code, some simple code to have the cat throw a projectile.